Hi guys, welcome back to my rabbit hole of K-pop. I'm Atomic Rabbit. I will be watching some Stola stuff this week, uh, starting with Jackson Wang. In this case, MVs I haven't gotten to yet. I know there is a lot more. I know there's a lot more to be found. I know there's also variety stuff. I know there's GOT7 stuff. I know there's a lot of stuff. But what I'm trying to do right now, most of all, is getting through the MVs and the music that was published before I got into K-pop and ever since I got into K-pop. And then when I have gotten to do all of that for the groups and the artists that I have right now on my channel, I can move on to more stuff. I can do more variety stuff. I will have more space of mind to do that, which I don't have right now. Now for me, it's just sort of survival mode to try and get through this. It's a rough journey because I decided to share all of this uh, and share my discoveries. So I might not say much and just absorb it. I don't know, it depends on how my mind is going to react to all of this. And sometimes it may just be that I just watch it and there's not much to say and I'll just let my facial expressions speak for itself. With that being said, Jackson Wang, let's go. <laughs> totally reminds me of a hundred ways i don't know the time so don't cry i don't know the time frame so i don't know if this was published before a hundred ways it feels like it did somewhere after uh what's the name heartbreak something Not heartbreak. It's a song about a heartbreak. I, I've seen it. I know there's no reaction to it, but I've, I've seen it. It's interesting to see what Jackson does with music. Here, see. Blazing up all night, oh, I 
be okay. <音>我知道你只在乎虚伪的表面。So this was kind of a middle between R&B and hip hop for me because it, the lyrics and the delivery of the lyrics is, kind, is a little bit more to the aggressive side but then the song sounds like a sort of a hip hop track but combined with R&B which is interesting. What I find interesting about Jackson Wang is that first of all he has that unique tone to his voice and the second thing is that he really has his own style. And it's pretty intriguing to see these stories that he tells in his MVs. The MVs that accompany the songs. Because the songs or his tracks have kind of that clear message. But his MVs tell a story that is in the context of that message. And it's not necessarily the depiction of the exact message that there is. So it kind of makes you think. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out where to place Jackson Wang in my musical library. <laughs> Is this paid promotion as well? <laughs> Balenciaga. Mm -hmm. 
riding home with my attitude. Do what you want. Hmm. <clears throat> I vibe a little bit more with a hundred ways and pretty please also because of the storytelling and the whole whole thing it goes a bit deeper it goes a bit further and I, I like that I've got three more uh, on my watch list uh, I think they are more they there uh, those are three collaborations as well so and they're more recent i believe well there's two that were very recent and one that's a bit less recent but i'll see that in the next one see you there and y'all